Hello everyone, welcome back to Arpita's Tech Corner. Today, we are going to explore combo charts and ribbon charts. So before proceeding with some practical example, let us understand the purpose of these charts. Okay, first start with combo charts. Now this combo chart is mainly the combination of bar and line charts and it has one or two y-axis whereas this ribbon chart it looks like a ribbon and it can be used to view data over time in this chart the highest value displays on the top of each of the time period okay so we have some idea about combo charts and ribbon charts now proceed with some example before importing the data, I am going to create one new page. Just click on this and your new page is there. Now, I am going to import Superstore sales data first. For that, you just need to select Gate Data and this CSV file. Now, select this CSV file and open. Just load this information. Now this table is ready for your analysis. From this visualization area, you can find out two combo charts. One is line and stack column chart and here is line and cluster column chart. I am just selecting this line and stack column chart. We are going to select some fields from this table. For this y-axis, I am going to select this date hierarchy. Now uh, in the column y-axis, I am going to select this cells column. This is our measure column. Okay, your bar graph is ready. Now we are going to add some line information. If you go to line y axis, here I am going to select this profit information. And this is your combo chart. So, how do you define this chart? From the same graph, we can find out yearly what is the sales value and the profit value in this line area. Now, we can add more columns in this small multiples area or legend area or tooltips area. So based on your requirement, you can add more fields here. Now, let us understand how this line and cluster column chart is working. Just copy this chart, control C, control V, and just select this line and cluster column charts. Now you can observe, both charts are looking similar then what is the difference how do you find that just select this graph and add this region field in the and add this region field in the column legend okay now we can observe these graphs are cluster based on this region now select this one and in the similar way add this region in column legend and you can observe regions value are displayed in a stacked manner so here is the difference between combo stack chart and combo cluster chart okay now we'll understand how this ribbon chart is working let me create another page here and select this ribbon chart little bit bigger now we are going to select this date hierarchy in this x-axis area and for y-axis we are going to select this profit information and in the legend area let us select something different maybe this zip mode okay so our chart is looking like a ribbon and here you can observe 
the topmost ribbon is the highest value which is standard class okay and it is time period wise so come into from formatting option so based on your requirement you can definitely explore some of the formatting option for example let me select this ribbon chart and click on this format your visual and here you can enable this data level or just in the ribbon section you can change some of the colors in the x axis you can change some of the properties in the legend section also you can change some of the properties so i would suggest just explore all these formatting option okay so i hope you got some idea about this combo chart and ribbon chart please practice more if you like this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel and share with your friend thank you Thanks for watching.